Yo, 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 this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and today we are talking about Thor Ragnarok, one that most people don't like to use. They just rank him up for prestige, but I'm here to tell you when you strike the right match, you can make fire. Let's see what's going on on today's episode of. Welcome back guys, we are talking about Thor Ragnarok and like I said, there isn't really much excitement for this dude, but if you put the right team together, like putting Hela on the team, he regenerates 10% of his max health when killing opponents at the end of each match. Then you drop in that Hulk Ragnarok and he gets 60% attack when the Thunder God's Wrath is active. And from here, this is kind of like the triple threat. The last two that we're filling in, we're gonna pop in and out with different situations. In this situation, I have Suicide Mastery, so I'm going to grab trusty old Nick Fizzle, or Nick Fury, more exact. And so we're gonna drop him in and we're gonna use that Restore Kit along with Gold Pool, or any of the pools that you see listed here. This way, if you're running suicides, you automatically heal at the beginning of every fight and you heal at the end of every fight when you finish. Now, while he doesn't hit all that hard, suicides do help you bridge that gap a little bit, but also the fact that you don't really need to use potions at all while you quest unless you make a huge mistake is actually really big. Check it out. So as you can see, right at the beginning of the fight, I got that restoration kit. It purified the bleed, and all I really have to deal with here is the poison, which I am getting 76 damage and I'm healing 73, so it's not really that big of a deal. And I do get the benefits of Suicide Masteries. So I'm gonna go through, finish up this fight, and you'll see that by the time the end of the fight comes, I'm healing 10%. And this gives you a chance to use your special abilities if you need to, and not really have to worry about recoil all that much, because you're pretty much gonna gain it back. So right here I just did an SP2, I took recoil damage, I'm down to about 90%, I'm gonna finish him off, and I'm up to 98% health. Now, into the next fight, I'm gonna get that restore kit again, it's gonna be purifying on the bleed, and I'm going to gain 10% health, which I don't really need, because I'm at 98 as it is. But let's take a look at how that works. So into the next fight here, as you can see, get that purified in and the restoration, and I'm back to 100%. So I'm gonna fast forward through this fight so you can get an idea of what this looks like into the next fight, and I'm pretty sure you can get that pattern. So in this fight, I was down to 88%, I healed back up to 96 Now I'm not healing the full 10% because I do have poison active, which affects how much I heal, but I'm doing pretty good here. So I'm going on to the next fight, and uh, you're gonna see that the restoration kit kicks in once again, and uh, Thor Ragnarok is actually rocking pretty good here. Now one thing to keep in mind here is that he is not a rank five, he is a rank four Thor Ragnarok. He could be rank five, uh, some people do it, some people don't, but the fact of the matter is this is not his full potential, and I think he's doing pretty good, especially the fact that there are no potions necessary at all here. Now here, I took some damage uh, on purpose. Yeah, that's exactly what I did, it was on purpose. So that you can get an idea of what it looks like to actually take some damage and also be able to recover from it. So I end up being right around 44% when I finish this, and so you'll see that I'm able to pick up some health right there, so that I'm up to 51%. Now getting into the next fight, I'm gonna go ahead and recover another 10% minus whatever poison is doing to me. But as you can see, it's sustainable. I don't have to use potions, and I think this is a pretty good look. Now, when I'm not using suicides, I like to jump in and use Proxima Midnight and Korg, because when you use Proxima, Thor's activation of the Boon of Gods requires 10 less hits, which means instead of 40, you're down to 30, which really, really comes in handy. And if you're using Korg, and you happen to have your opponent in the corner, you gain 15% attack rating and 20% fury buff for eight seconds when using a medium attack to end basic attack combos while their opponent is pinned against the wall. 
So here in the example, I am still running Suicide Masteries, but you wouldn't be. You can still use the team, it's all good. So right now I'm pushing Hawkeye over to the corner the best I can, so that I can get that Fury and get that extra damage, and that damage does last through your specials. Unfortunately, it seems the synergy may be a little bugged as I am in the corner and finishing off with mediums and it's not showing up. So I put my own Fury buff there just so that you can get the effect and of course I've reported it and hopefully that gets fixed right away. Now also notice right here I've done my SP2 that pushed me into 30 hits and I got that boon of the gods and I've got my SP2 again, bam, and it makes for a pretty fun experience and you can take them out pretty fast. So if you had a Thor Ragnarok just kind of sitting around collecting dust, well now you see there's another use for him. He can save you some potions and he can be a lot more fun than you might expect. So hopefully you enjoyed the episode and if you did go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about Thor. Did you do this? Have you already thought of this? Did you already have this in your roster? Let me know down in the comments below. And remember, stay dorky because there's always more episodes of... Yeah. 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 Y